biggest changes since having a baby. And there are a few of them. There are a <laughs> few, and we are about five months in. So in this video, we're going to talk about it. Let's get it. So we've been parents now for five months going on five months and uh, there has been so many changes yeah and the relationship you know the first being just transitioning from being us two to now having responsibility of life yeah. you know being responsible for a human being and you know you know what's crazy uh, sorry go ahead finish, finish yeah. your point finish your point. um and it's interesting because now that I've been hearing this word that's been on my mind, like stewardship just keeps coming up, you know, being responsible for um, something and nurturing it and caring for it and doing, you know, having these responsibilities and actually acting on them day in and day out to take care of life. And I think us having our baby boy, Jordan, that's been one of the biggest changes and just understanding that we are responsible for him. He, right. His life depends on us. Right. And so that has been just a huge shift and change in your mindset. The marriage because it changes your mindset. Yeah. You know, you go into this, like the decisions that I make, everything that I do, it is to make sure that our child is happy. Our child is safe. Yeah. And that's such an interesting point because I can agree with everything that you're saying. When we used to think about our relationship and our marriage, it was our mindset went to how can we pour into our relationship? Mm -hmm. How can we continue to make our relationship better and continue to make it thrive? Mm -hmm. But now it's that mm -hmm. plus, plus, yeah. mm -hmm. but not even plus like, like before it was just, how can we make our relationship, our marriage work and pouring everything into that. But now it's that on top of mm -hmm. building and, and, and how can we be raising good parents? Yeah. and how can we good, be good parents mm -hmm. and how we should raise our child. Exactly. And, you know, with him being a newborn being, you know, we're, we're nurturing every decision that he has. Mm -hmm. It's such a, a blessing, but such a different yeah. life mm -hmm. that we're living now. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought it was tough enough with a dog, but yeah, now you had a baby on there. You had a baby. It, it's it's like the decision making that the, yeah. the your mind, mm -hmm. everything that you do mm -hmm. revolves around this baby right. and your relationship, right. and not allowing either one of those to fall off. Obviously, you know our main thing right now is to raise our son, right. But just as important is continuing to raise our relationship. Oh, of course. Of raise course. our marriage and continue to nurture that as well. And those things often sometimes can get lost in a in a marriage. Right. Because Be of, you should have focus on your child, but your marriage should also be a focus as well. Because as you're raising your child, your child's understanding or interpretation of a healthy marriage or a toxic marriage or whatever it is, relationships are often from the perspective of what he's seen of his parents or, right. or her parents. It's a reflective of the actions of the parents. What did they see growing up in their home? Mm -hmm. So it's important to nurture, can, to continue to nurture your relationship as well. And, and like you said, there are going to be times where it just has to be put on the back burner for a little bit to focus on um, your child, but not keeping it on the back burner. Exactly. Remembering to exactly. go back to it and revisit because it's important because you, when your child then grows up and leaves, th who who are you married to? Do you remember your exactly. partner? Exactly. Like, That's a great point. You know, and then you oftentimes people feel like they don't know each other anymore because they've just been so focused on their child. Yeah. And so it's, and I get it. It's tough because it's a, a delicate situation. And I don't think, you know, our followers are thinking that, but by no means are we saying like, don't pay attention to your child. Oh, you know? no. Well, I don't, think we're, I don't yeah. think we're saying that at but all. But we're just saying that you also can't forget about your marriage in raising your exactly. child. You and also have to keep that on the forefront as well. Exactly. Exactly. Both are extremely important. Mm -hmm. And for us personally, you know, we have been together for 13 years. Mm -hmm. And for 13 of those years we it's just been us two of course so now <laughs> after 30 years now transitioning to a life with a child mm -hmm. and adding this completely different dynamic to mm -hmm. our lives 
individually and us as a couple, mm-hmm. it's hard. It's, it's very it's, hard. It's hard. It's yeah. challenging. There's there's a lot of things that, that are different now. Yes, yes. But embracing those differences, embracing the changes, and learning how to adapt mm-hmm. along the way is so important. Yes. It, it's just like it's – but that's where a lot of relationships and marriages fail because mm-hmm. they, they forget how to adapt. They forget right. how to, to – turn turn mm-hmm. the switch and, and and figure out a different way and a different avenue of working right. together right another thing that i have learned one of the biggest changes since having a baby is that whoa that time management baby oh. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. look getting out the house on time is a struggle yeah and at first i didn't quite understand it when i didn't have kids like come on now if you know you're supposed to be here at a certain time like get there but now that i am in it and i'm a parent i have like newfound respect for parents because yeah. i didn't understand just how much work it takes to get your household ready to go, you Mm -hmm. know, it is a struggle. And so I think that you have to understand that if you were a super prompt person, not to say that you may not still be a prompt person, but you have to plan ahead, plan ahead and understand that time management is going to look a lot different than it did before. Yeah. Yeah. And give yourself grace because look, sometimes it's just like, who we supposed to leave 45 minutes ago. And, <laughs> but baby is not, baby is not feeling it right now. And we, we gotta, we gotta make sure baby's good. So yeah. we gotta wait 45 minutes. And that's what we have to do until we can to get out the house. So, Man, that's, that's a that's great a point. One. And I mean, you hit it right on the head. Mm-hmm. Um, time management. So another change that I would say to, since having a baby over the first five months, I would say that there has been less time for, you know, us, yeah. like us individually, mm-hmm. because now we're, we're, the baby is, is the main focus. Yeah. And, and not, just having that romance between yeah, the two of us. Yeah. Taking that 45 minute break while he's sleeping yeah. and, and, and just having some time to ourselves exactly. and like really enjoying ourselves. Like we do it and we can when we, when we can, when we can, but those but, times are very limited and, yes. and the windows are very short and <laughs> and also we're just, just tired you and know we're sometimes tired. we're so exhausted that when we have that 45 minute window and sometimes it's like it's we not even 45 it. yeah, sometimes it's, like it's 25 25 and we instead of like having a moment of intimacy where maybe we're just like connecting and hugging and this and that we're just so tired we're next to each other we're just like <laughs> <sighs> okay he's quiet okay he's quiet okay, he's quiet let me just <laughs> Let me just sit here and just like, you know, <laughs> really gather your thoughts, ra- and, gather your thoughts. Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> and I think it's really, I'm hoping and I, and I'm, I'm praying that it gets better. You know, oh, it time. does get better. But I you think. know, these first, you know, I say the first six months, probably the first year while he is still like under our wing, like every little, like we got to rock him to sleep mm-hmm. and everything like, yeah. I think as he as he starts to gain um, a little level <laughs> of like autonomy and he's able to start making right. you know little decisions for himself and things like that, of course it will change. But right now it is difficult because, he, like you said, he's relying on us for every thing, whether it be a, a big thing or a minute thing. Right. So something as simple as just like rocking him to sleep or um, soothing, you know, he mm-hmm. soothing him to sleep. We have to, we're responsible for doing all of those or things. Or when the pacifier so, falls out of his mouth, oh, you know. Oh, baby. And I'm diving down for that. <laughs> <laughs> you you got to get there at enough time <laughs> before he really time. starts. Before he pops. Pop, popping. Because <laughs> once he, once he pops, it's hard to calm him down. Yeah, but. So, you know, it's all these little things where like you are tending to every little need of your baby. And that's yeah. all, that's always going to be the case. Mm-hmm. But right now, like you said, like, from the minute to the big things, like yeah. he's relying on everything. But yeah. once he gets a little bit more autonomy and he has yeah. more um, independence, yeah, just he a little has bit. Yeah, independence where like even him being able to be in a playpen and play, you know, by himself. So, yeah, that's that's one big point that I would say, too. Mm-hmm. Now, what about you? Like you as the mom, the one that gave the birth, like is there anything that you physically have experienced like a lot of changes with? Mm-hmm. What you just asked me? Oh, the, the physical. So you talking about I change physically? So just, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, there's been a ton of changes um, from 
my perspective as a mom, one, just postpartum, that is definitely a real thing in dealing with um, recovery. I think that oftentimes when people discuss uh, having a baby, it's always leading up to just like delivery, but nobody ever talks about the really the recovery, mm. the postpartum, like the after. Right. And the after for me was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I don't know. Really? I thought, yeah, because I thought the hard part was over, which was having the baby, but right. nobody tells you how uncomfortable and painful it is to recover. Right. Um, no one tells you, um, I, and I did watch some videos and things like that, but I still didn't understand it until I was in it, how right. there's a sudden shift in hormones and your body has changed significantly. So not only are you dealing with that, you're dealing with mental changes, but you're also dealing with physical changes as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that that can be a little overwhelming as a mom. I know that I have experienced moments where, you know, I was really insecure about the way I looked and how I felt because it just, I look so different from the body that I used to have, but I embrace my new curves and the way that I look at it now is that, you know, I birthed a human being unmedicated, you know, all natural. And for that, I will forever be grateful for, you know, the way my body looks because my body did what it needed to do to produce a healthy and amazing baby boy. And I'm so obsessed with that baby. So you, you are, that's my boy. You are. That's, your, that's, that's my your boy. boy. So, and, and not only that, but you're also still recovering. Like, yeah, it's and still, that's the thing, like, you're, you're still recovering. And I think it's only been five months. It's only been five months. And so I'm still recovering. And I think that society doesn't necessarily understand that. Right. And I'm not only dealing with that, um, just personally, but I'm also understanding that it's a challenge professionally too. just managing having a, um, a profession and being a mom, like from where do I nurse this, mm -hmm. this and that, even th like outfits that you wear. Right. So physically, I feel like I have um, experienced a lot of changes that um, I wasn't fully aware of until I'm in it and I'm still in it. And I just try to take it day by day. Yeah. Um, and but you also, you also struggled a little bit with like trying to get back to the gym and feeling yes. like, feeling like you didn't have the time. And but I then still also, feel like that. Yeah. And yeah. then also, um, you know, during the time when you w weren't even allowed to work out, like yeah. it was a transition for you because you were used to working out three to five times a week. Exactly. And then to go from nothing because you were, you, yeah. they told you you couldn't. Yeah, like and literally now, you're on rest yeah. um, the, for the first eight weeks. Um, first until eight weeks. until you, mm -hmm. and then you, you go to your follow-up. And if your doctor clears you, they clear you, then you can begin to work out. And even then, you know, you still want to be really gentle. Everybody's different, so you go at your own pace. But for me, you know, I was still kind of easing my way back into it. And I got a routine, but then that good old time management that we spoke about kind of crept up again. And now I feel like I don't have, the time to, you know, work out again. And right. so that has been a struggle for me because working out, not to your level, but has always been a part of my identity as far as just like movement and being very yeah. active and to kind of have that halt a little bit. That's been a hard transition for me as well. Man. And so, with time, I'll figure it out. You you manage. Yeah, but. exactly. And, it's, and that goes back to the adaptability. Mm -hmm. You have to adapt. So, <laughs> there's many different changes that we could talk about. These are just some of the, the major ones that mm -hmm. we have experienced and that we can think of that are top of mind. Yeah. Um, One um, thing that I want to say, okay. especially with being parents and going through this new lifestyle change, when you're going through it, just remember... Because arguments will happen that is inevitable with, you know, trying to raise a child and you being tired and mm -hmm. sleep deprived and all of these things. But we're on the same team and we want the same results and the same outcome. And yep. so we it's important that we but it's important to remember that you guys are a team and you're working at it together. And it's very easy because you're frustrated about other things to take it out on the first person that you see, i.e. your partner, because you're in the room together, it's late at night, the baby's fussing, you know, pampering right. needs to be changed. But you guys both have a common end goal, and that is to raise a healthy, beautiful baby. And so it's important to always remember that because yeah, yeah. there are gonna be times where you wanna lash out at your partner. Exactly, <laughs> and that's a great last point, just mm -hmm. because that first year, is going to be challenging. It's just a, a, a whole new way that you're living mm -hmm. your life individually and now yes. with your partner. And, and one last thing, I promise this is the oh, last okay. thing. This is the last thing. Enjoy the moments with your baby. I mean, like yeah. you said, we yeah. have a five month old and I cannot believe it's already been five months. Time is flying. And so 
you want to make sure that although you celebrate the big milestones, you want to cherish those little moments mm -hmm. as well. Because in the blink of an eye, we're going to look up and baby Jordan is going to be one years old. And we're exactly. just going to be like, how the heck did we get there? So, so remember to embrace the, the moments. Embrace it. Cherish it. Take pictures. Take videos. Because <laughs> they're only this small for this long. Yeah. Take, well, take blink of an eye. So take advantage of this first year and really embrace every month mm -hmm. and the development throughout the entire journey. Yeah. And that's what we also say at the end of every episode is find joy in the journey. In the journey. Yes. So my name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is The Ambors. Bye everyone. Peace. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. 